Hey there, Capricorn. Welcome to your weekly reading for Capricorn Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Thank you guys so much for being here. Remember to give it a thumbs up, like, share, comment, and subscribe. And let's tap into your weekly energies. Okay, Magician. Beautiful. Five of Cups. What is the energy for my Capricorn friends for the week ahead? Make sure you check out your Moon, Rising, and Venus signs as well. To get a better idea, hello, the sun card, loving it. To get a better idea of what your weekly energy is going to be like. Your April reading, I'm a little far behind. I'm a little behind, not far behind. Uh, I'm a little behind on the uploads on those. So when that is ready, I'm either going to put your playlist up here or the April readings. But as always, I link them at the end. I'm making my calendar available to you guys. If you want to book a personal reading, I will be posting all that information down below in the description box. And when I've got everything up and running, it will also be in the comments. Okay, Magician, Five of Cups, Three of Pentacles, The Sun card, hello, beautiful energy with a Hanged Man and Ace of Pentacles. Okay, listen, some of you, I, I, I want to say a few weeks ago, if it wasn't like last week or the week before, some of you were maybe having a little bit of a struggle, like tug of war type of getting along at work, but I did feel like it was all going to be good, right? And all these cards indicate, because you've got three majors, you've got the Magician, the Sun, and the Hanged Man. I mean, come on. Along with the Ace of Pentacles, it doesn't get any better than this. My goodness, you are the creator of your own reality, as Abraham Esther Hicks always says, right? You are the creator of your own reality. What it is that you want to build for yourself, what you want to create for yourself, Um you know, I do feel like you've got the power within your hands. Everything is within reach. It, it, it even feels very, very simplistic. Like, like I'm hearing Spirit Guides Source say, you don't need to over explain this. Like, just look at this beauty. Look at these cards, the magician and the sun. So much to look forward to. I do feel like some of you have been overthinking certain situations, disappointments, um, disappointing energy in certain people, okay? So if there was a situation, because I'm hearing it, where people had to take sides, I feel like, you know, people taking sides, you know, you took, you took that into account, right? It's like, oh, noted. Okay, I see what you did there. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Well, we're still going to make this work. Well, we're still going to work this out. You know, I'm going to take some time to really figure out a way to make this all work out for all of us. However, Capricorn, the more you stick into that energy where you're thinking and overthinking, you know, how can I come up with like the best idea? And I just heard raddest idea. So I don't know if some of you speak that way. That's not a word I use, but... Some of you are trying to think of like the raddest idea, the best idea, the, the, you know, the best idea and outcome for collaboration, for working together. But spirit is telling me to tell you, Capricorn, listen, honey, you cannot make everyone happy. Okay. You do the best that you can with what you have. And if all you're doing is splitting hairs, migraines, overthinking and, you know, thinking and overthinking and trying to figure out how you can come up with like the best solution so that everyone gets to have their own input and everyone gets to have their own say. And it's like Ace of Pentacles here with the Three of Pentacles. There is growth and expansion in whatever partnership and collaboration you may have here. However you choose to, however you decide to, you know, who gets to be the chosen one, who gets to collaborate, who gets to move forward, who gets to whatever, fill in the blank, right? I also feel some of you have been thinking of a way to rotate who takes the lead on what, right? Whether that's your business, whether that's, um, you know, projects in your company, whatever it may be. Listen, I also heard, if this is in love, I know some of you are a little uh, averse, <laughs> right? You're just like, ew, icky, yuck, love, Capricorn. Come on now. <laughs> The magician, and I, I'm not, not not hating or anything like that. I have a Capricorn moon, so you know I know how that goes. Um, the magician, five of cups, three of pentacles, the sun card. Listen, I just feel like whatever it is that you choose for you. 
because if some of you have children, you're trying to figure out like, how can I be in a connection that isn't going to stress me out, that's not going to put me in a situation where I'm going to be, you know, working so freaking hard to make a relationship work because I feel like for all, for like the majority of you Capricorns, I feel like every relationship you've had or at least tried to start, it's been way too much work, energy, effort. And I feel like you just got into this mindset of thinking, all relationships are going to be this hard. All relationships are going to have their quirks. All relationships are going to have their, their problems and their downfalls. And that's just not true, Capricorn. You have to really, you know, get out of that mindset. You can have a very good connection with someone without overthinking it, you know, without having to make excuses, without having to over explain yourself, without having to worry, you know, um, am I going to say the wrong thing this week since everything's been so good? I can't believe that we've been getting along. I can't believe how much fun I have with this person. I can't believe, you know, whatever. And it's like, stop questioning it. If it works, it works. That's all you've got to know. If you have children, I feel that some of you fear whether or not new person, loving relationship, whatever, partner, if they'll be accepting of your children and vice versa. What if you don't have kids and they do, right? Like, oh my God, I don't, I don't, I can barely take care of myself or I don't even want to think about having to be responsible for someone else. That's what I'm hearing for some of you, okay? Um, but I do feel that whatever it is that you truly want for yourself, if you, if you've thought it would be nice to be in a connection into a relationship without all the the fuss and the hard work and you know the extra whatever because i feel like some of you are just not willing to put in the extra time that is like a very strong message i am getting for some of you capricorns i do feel that whatever it is that um you want for yourself or partnership or you know family relationship business i do feel that you are at a point in your life where you are absolutely like grounded and powerful enough to create the life that you want with or without love, with money, because I feel like your main focus is money, career, finances, stability in the home, stability within the family. And that to you, to most of you, I don't see really includes a partnership. But I feel like calling you guys out. Capricorn, don't be mad at me. I feel like you guys do want love. You just don't know how to open yourself up to love. So what does Capricorn think about opening themselves up to love? Yeah, you're just like, let me deal with one thing at a time, <laughs> which is the energy that I've been getting for you guys, right? It's like, yeah, that would be nice. Yeah, that would be nice, but no, right? Um, again, Set the intention, especially with this new moon that we just had. I'm actually recording this on the new moon. I do feel like you can set the intention to call in the person that's right for you. That's that's the perfect fit for you and your children, your family, whatever, you know, that's not going to be stressful. That's not going to wear you down mentally, physically, spiritually, emotionally, whatever, financially even, right? So what is, what's next for Capricorn? What is next for Capricorn, my Capricorn friends? King of Wands, Ten of Swords, Queen of Swords. Some of you um, may be getting out of a relationship with an air sign, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Um, I do feel that there is this sense of setting boundaries with someone who's got a few choice words. I feel like if you had if you had a really tough uh, marriage or long term relationship commitment, it was very hard on you mentally, physically, emotionally. Um, I feel like you like you felt safe and secure financially, and like that was easy for you to take care of. Um, however, it's it's the feeling good about yourself without feeling 
like worthless. I felt like this person really knew how to break you down. Uh, some of you are dealing with a fire sign, Aries the Sagittarius that did this to you. And you've had to, you know, put your sword up and be like, enough is enough. I'm, you know, this has to end putting up safe boundaries. Um, and, and there was a, a lot of arguments. And I feel that that's what's kind of off putting for you in terms of love. Um, let me have a card in terms of business and finances. One or two cards, please, for Capricorn. Yeah, six of swords. Yeah, three of cups. Exactly what I had said early on is that you can and will be able to move this forward in a way where you'll all celebrate, you'll all collaborate. You can figure out a way to make each other's um uh, skills, gifts, abilities, what they bring to the table, you'll be able to make each person shine. Okay, now what's the biggest block for Capricorn here? What is the biggest block for Capricorn here? I'm hearing you have a lot of mental blocks, hang ups. Um, there's still a lot of, um, there's still a lot of releasing of, uh, someone that may have uh, been very uh, mentally and emotionally abusive, okay? Wheel of Fortune. Um, the biggest block here is that you seem to be a bit cynical and jaded and not being open to seeing that there can be some very big changes for you that can manifest everything that you think is impossible for you. I just heard that very clearly. Like you think, well, I'm good at just making money. And so that's where I'm going to focus is money. And so that's where you focus. <laughs> I feel like there's this disconnect here. Um, and I don't mean to push love on you. I'm just hearing it very, very strongly. Very, very strongly. That, you know, the biggest block is that you, you don't feel that there's a possibility of being able to have a safe, secure, stable, emotionally stable, mentally stable, spiritually connected, divine partnership, whatever it may be, someone who you feel is your soulmate, who's going to love you in and out, bits and pieces, all of you, regardless of the past that you've had, regardless of the healing that, that's still taking place with you. Some of you need to make your healing a priority is what I am hearing, okay? Um, because I feel like right now that's kind of your biggest block is not being able to see the fullness um, of your life that that's, be, that's being ready to be presented to you. You can't see it. Wisdom of the Oracle to close this out. <laughs> Higher power. I'm telling you, it's getting ready to show itself to you. Look at this. The building blocks. Card number four and card 28, which is number 10. What exactly what I said was, you know, there's a whole other level, like up level to you. There's so much more that you just do not see how whole and complete. I know you may feel like you are at times, but you know that there are certain things that still need to be worked through, that still need to be healed. You need to make healing a priority. I know some of you don't want to, and that's okay. That's okay. You'll have your own breaking points. You have your own limits. But spirit guides, guardian angels are saying all of this has been a building block for you to elevate, to see, you know, your own greatness, everything that the, that the universe can bring to you that has been illuminating for you. They're here for you. Reach out to them. They're helping you move higher up to a better place, better partnerships, better business, better within yourself. If you think you're good now, Capricorn, I'm hearing you are absolutely destined for greatness. So keep it moving. Do the healing work. Stop being cynical. Stop being jaded and, you know, and pessimistic. There's a lot here for you that you're just not seeing. Kind of makes me a little sad for you, Capricorn, for real. But anyway, that's your reading. Have a great week. Make sure you give it a thumbs up, like, share, comment, and subscribe. 
Double tap that bell to get notified of all the readings. As always, your playlist will be up here and whatever other readings I have for you here. Make sure that your notifications are on so you catch me when I go live in case you missed me over the weekend because I did go live yesterday. Well, yesterday meaning from the day I recorded. <laughs> so yeah, can't wait to read for you guys again. Check out your moon rising and Venus signs and all the readings I have for you. Have a great week. Take care. Bye.